Good morning. Good morning. We had a nice day here. Um, but it's kind of sprinkling out this morning, so we're just gonna get the hell out of here and uh, head for the Pacific Ocean. This was the first sign of any rain in at least two and a half, three months. yourself a woman who opens gates for you. So funny story, we take that rugged hard trail all the way in and find this little paradise and oasis and uh, on the uh, west side of this little town, it's a paved road all the way here. So it's not really stuck in the middle anywhere, but the way we came, it sure was. Right there, that's what it's called. We definitely would love to have been able to spend more time here. It is such a picturesque little community, but we are on a mission to get to the Pacific. I can see us coming back one day though. Here is a perfect example of why. Now let's get back to the quest for the Pacific Ocean. Just hitting the west coast again, coming into a little beach town. Not sure of the name. Las Ranicas. This isn't our destination, but we thought we'd come down to the beach here and check it out. Definitely a nice surf, such surf destination. I think there's boats here and fishermen. Oh, birds. oh wow. It's the birds. Those are all vehicles with boats, so they must all be out there fishing. But look at all these birds. Wow. Not an island over there, that's just all birds. Pretty neat. Anyway, we're gonna hit, keep hit, trucking up the coast here, heading north up the coast to a place called Scorpion Bay. Military and a big Unimog. Just gonna drive through town here. Must be a uh, fishing town for sure. It's really nice. These puppies on the roads. That's, That's probably how big Eddie's gonna get. I hope so. Oh, having a big poop, that a guy. He's just dangling. We were both surprised when this dirt track actually brought us back out to a uh, newly paved highway. We just passed this rolled rig and heard someone yelling, so we don't know if someone's He's in there. He's oh in my there. god. He's on the ground. Oh, I took a picture because of the language barrier, so when I found some people, they could see what was going on. Oh, that guy is trapped under his cab of his truck. Chris is staying with him with water and a blanket. I'm coming back into this town to try to find help. I found some people, but they don't speak. <laughs> hey, Eddie, stop it, okay, bud? So now I'm gonna follow this lady. I need someone who speaks English so I can explain what's going on. I showed them the picture of the accident, but they just, they're not getting it. Medical, uh, medical guys and ambulance, but they're just taking their sweet piss time. Do you understand how urgent Yeah, I got it. It looks like there's a paramedic and two people coming, follow me to the crash. Man, my heart's pounding. Oh, I hope this guy's okay, man. I'm gonna 
we can't keep up to me, so I'm gonna whip back to Kristen and this dude. I'm gonna start, looks like we're gonna have to dig him out from underneath this truck, I think. We got him off, out, he's away in the ambulance. Now we're just trying to recover all the uh, jacks we used to get the truck off him. When I got back to the scene, I immediately grabbed my jack and shovel and started to jack the truck off him. Luckily, more cars showed up shortly after as it took three jacks to get the truck up high enough along with gently digging them out. But he was trapped right under here and that door hinge was right into his hip. Uh, he was in a lot of pain, that poor guy. I'm so glad we got him out. Well, Kristen. Wow. How was that? Terrifying. I don't think I've ever been so scared in my life for somebody. It looked like he was complete, his hips were completely crushed, but I think he's gonna be okay. There's no blood. I'm sure his hip is completely crushed. Yeah. Uh, it's like I was saying, it was so hard. I went into town to get people. Kristen stayed with the poor guy, but he doesn't speak English. She doesn't speak uh, Spanish, so yeah, it's hard to just, calm him down. I just hugged him and gave him water. And, and tried to dig him out. My fingers are bleeding. There's rocks. I couldn't dig him out. Well, here's to uh, getting up early and getting on the road. We definitely helped an amigo. Uh, I've, never, I've never been the first person on a scene before ever. And the, the first time doing that, so that was. And the crazy thing is, we saw the truck rolled in the ditch, and we're just like, "Oh no, bueno, that doesn't look good." And then, luckily, Kristen's window was cracked because we heard the guy yelling. So we stopped and turned around and found him underneath his truck. Oh. I don't like that. Yep. I don't know if he felt. It was, it was scary too because I didn't know there was obviously gas and oil dripping and it was smoking a little bit, so I didn't know what to do but throw sand on it. Which was the right thing to do, babe. That's all I can do. I got him out. He's gonna I, be okay. I haven't had breakfast or anything to eat, but man, I feel like a beer. My adrenaline hasn't pumped like that and I don't know how long. Yeah, that was... Uh... But wow, the community came together and uh, we all got them out after we... Note to self, I don't, I can't, can't find my other jack. We wouldn't have been able to get them out if we didn't have three jacks. So I gotta get myself, find my scissor jack that came with the ambulance. Because um, that's obviously a very important tool to have to save someone's oh, life. Oh, wear your seatbelts, folks. Yeah, he came right through the windshield. I don't know how he ended up under the truck. He must have came out and then the truck rolled on him. Yeah. Like, he's so lucky. Anyway, we're gonna continue up the beach and try and uh, finish the rest of our day with, um, I guess we can be happy. He's safe and sound now, he's in good hands. Okay, well, on to uh, more brighter That's things. Where you're going. Nico, which is Scorpion Bay. We're just gonna get a bite to eat and then go find a place to park on the beach for the night and continue the journey tomorrow. Yeah, it's been a day. Found this nice little restaurant. Uh, we're gonna go try it. He wants to come with us. He's gotta learn to be by himself anyway. So yeah, here's the nice little place. We're gonna we're gonna go try it. Well, that was a good couple tacos. They were delicious tacos. Got a cuddle with a cat. Gato? Beautiful, pretty little kitty cat. And, and didn't mind the cat, yeah. actually, so that was a good sign. Yeah. And now we're just going to find a spot to camp on the beach here. Uh, Both of our brains feel like they're going to explode. Yeah, that, that, whole, that whole accident scene has just drained my energy for sure. And, uh, I can't stop thinking <coughs> Before we hit the next section, which is going to be back over the mountains, we're just going to take a day to relax and recoup. So we just read some reviews. And it sounds like the police can be a hassle around here trying to shake you down for some cash and stuff and there's no one here so Kristen's feeling a little sketched out so after today I don't mind heading up. There's some sand dunes 
probably 10, 20 kilometers up north from here that we'll go check out. I'm sure we can find a place to uh, stay for the night. Whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like a nice little ranch down in this valley. just caught up to these two people and these amazing earth roamers. This is a Volvo six wheel drive, hydraulic front wheel drive, super cool. And then this fella back here has got one of them Dodge earth roamers, which is just so sweet as well. Let's have a little competition and see who can guess has the smallest bank account. See you guys, safe travels. Well, that was super cool. A nice conversation with those folks. Uh, the, the Volvo was from uh, Vancouver and the other folks are from Oregon. And uh, yeah, they're just out here exploring, doing their thing and super nice people. So we'll just follow along behind them, I guess, unless I catch up to them. And I'm imagining they're faster than me. They got bigger tires. They'll, they'll absorb the uh, bumps a little more than I. We don't got time to wait for these earth roamers. They're holding us up. desert is definitely vast. We unfortunately missed the turnoff to the sand dunes, so we just kept pushing north to see what else we could find while enjoying the beautiful scenery. Then the road turned to absolute crap, this cobbly round rock for miles and miles and miles with salt flats on both sides which would be too soft to pull off and stop or camp or do anything. So we just kept on trucking. Another little village out in the middle of nowhere. Definitely a great experience driving out on the salt flats after we found a decent looking road. Check out that bird's nest. Just see his little head poking out. Crazy. So we just ventured out to a point way on the west coast here. There's a little camp here that does offers gray wheel wheel tours and obviously they have these little bungalows to stay in. We're gonna see if we can uh, spend the night and maybe get a shower. Look, in, look into uh, that tangling me up jerk. Maybe see how much they're charging for whale tours. Well, it's looking like all these whale watching camps are all full up because it's coming to the end of the season. So they're very busy. And um, so yeah, we're we're SOL. We can't even get a shower because all the cabins are uh, booked up. And we head into town. I think it's about an hour. About an hour. About an hour back into San Ignacio, but we uh, might just pull over somewhere on the way. I'm I'm tired after what happened this morning. And yeah, we've long, had a Long puppy day. drive. And we definitely have a day. But it's been an awesome day. 
otherwise it is beautiful here it is really nice it's like a uh, estuary there's all these folk like the nest we just showed you all these cabins all have falcon nests on them really cool looking birds but uh yeah it's really pretty Yeah, I don't know if I cut Kristen off there, but she just mentioned it kind of looked, it's like the Northwest area, Northwest Territories up North Canada, and you get into the tundra area, and that's what it kind of looks like. No pingos, though. I got that on film, but once we got close to him there, he had he has a fish in his talons. Cool. Salt flats. Careful where you drive out here. water there's fire and wood in our fire pit already and it's a beautiful beautiful view The long day driving down that bouncy rough road was sure worth it to catch this amazing sunset. So funny story. Uh, we, the spot we picked camp in had a whole a bunch of wood there ready to, to burn and go. And I was like, right on. That was nice of those people to leave that. So after we ate dinner, I went out. A bit of fire then i hear amigo amigo no no there's no fires allowed here and he told the last people who collected the wood not to have a fire but when i saw the fire wood i just assumed you could have a fire so it was nice while it lasted so we're just uh drinking our 39 peso tequila <laughs> rancho escondido it's top notch we've been there yeah and uh Got our limes. You like that? Rancho Escondido, 28% alcohol, agave liquor. Better than that, um, what was that vodka we had on the airplane? It was hedge trimmer gin. Hedge trimmer gin. <laughs>